Hello again and welcome back to Star Wars The Old Republic. Hopefully the mic's sorted out. Yeah. Um, I'll have to get a new mic and not be on for a few days. One's luck fell through the floor. <laughs> Ooh, we've got mail. I've got to check that. Why have I got mail? Who knows? Who's been sending me things? Let's go read my mail. What have we got? Inquisitor Zin has informed me that it was you who uncovered Ezor Kane and handed my apprentice's death. I suspected Ezor. The fool has always been a nuisance, but I needed proof before acting. The acolyte's testimony will suffice. As I'm a man who settles his debts, 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 a fact young Ezor will soon learn. I'd like to extend my gratitude for your assistance in this matter. You have a sharp mind and a keen eye for details. No doubt you'd make a fine apprentice. A pity another already has no eye on you. Oh, give me 28 credits. Thank you. You have no idea what you've done, do you? <laughs> Is that the course law? Is that the course... Course log eggs now. I'm expected to get punishment for my weakness, he says. Before I can, can brood me, my master has ordered me to send you this gift. He hopes it will lessen the chance of you being killed. Yeah, she doesn't like me, but who cares? Increases endurance by 8 for 60 minutes. Okay. Let's put them there. I don't need them on this world, I'll use them on the next one. Don't need that bit there. Hello again, everybody. You better not be wasting my time, slave. You better have the holocron. Mm. The one that no one else can fake. Get. Or stolen from the library, probably. I'll deal with you later. Now, I believe it's time for another demonstration. Gur, step forward. Yes, Overseer. Fon, kill him. With pleasure, Overseer. Let Gur be an example to you. Fon destroyed him easily, like he will destroy all of you. Are there any other objections? You are only giving us power, Harkon. <laughs> and your comments are only hastening your death, slave. Now the rest of you know the next trial. Go. You, slave, stay here. Now, slave, you think yourself pretty clever getting that holocron, don't you? I'm that good. I really am the best. You are lucky Lord Zash finds you useful. Now for your trial. The last darkest secrets of Tulak Horde are buried in his tomb. Lord Zash wants this text. 
But the final resting place of the dead lord is not easily trespassed. You will not be the first to die there. I will return, and with the text. Do not come back here until you've gotten the text from Tulak Hordes too. Out of my sight, slave. 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 Apparently, I'm a slave. Slave. So, yet another acolyte stands in the shadow of our academy. You must consider yourself privileged. Tell me, you who would be Sith, have you seen much of our civilization so far? Have you been awed by this world's power and glory? Indeed, I have. Korriban is most inspiring, my lord. You find it so? Then you should understand something. Korriban was wrought by the true-blooded Sith millennia ago. Our ancestors, a crimson race of conquerors, raised the statues around us. Over the eons, however, our people mingled with slaves. Now the red markings of true Sith are rare, and the purity of this planet is in question. You're mingling with a former slave right now. Is that so? This is a sad day, but you may yet be useful. True purity and strength are carried in the blood. I worry that our blood is being diluted over generations. In the Emperor's name, I have come to learn whether the Academy's overseers are Sith or not. You will be my instrument. It would be an honor. It is a glorious opportunity. I possess an ancient device, a holocron, that can read and record bloodlines. It will pulse with life near the overseers. Allow the holocron to fulfill its purpose. Stand near the overseers as it attunes to their blood purity. Then return here, and I will learn the truth. And kill them all. <laughs> Hello. What do you want? I have need of you, young one. Whatever errand your master sent you on can wait until we are through. As you say. I am Inquisitor Eurinth, and I represent the intelligence operations of the Sith. We are currently holding an important Jedi prisoner. A spy who attempted to reach this academy. We have plans for him. We have Upon capture, for him. we found the Jedi's mind simple to we manipulate. Have plans. We fed him false memories through a combination of drugs and sorcery. Soon he will return to his Jedi commanders and report the lies we fed him. He will know nothing of what we've done. All that remains is to stage his escape. Look no further. I am your Sith. Good. I'm pleased that you appreciate our project. You are young enough, new enough. To be a plausible traitor. You will go to the Jedi, talk to him, do as he asks, earn his trust. When that is done, set him free. Do whatever is necessary to get him out of prison. We will ensure that he reaches his ship and returns safely to his Jedi friends. How do I know you won't accuse me of treason? Prove your strength. Prove that you are truly Sith. And all the accusations in the world will mean nothing. You will find the Jedi Quarry and Dorgis in the jail cells. He is still confused and should not be overly difficult to convince. Oh, now I've got to set one free. Can't I torture him? Torture! There is no emotion. There is peace. There is no ignorance. There is knowledge. The Jedi Code will guide me. I go. take it you're the Jedi who was captured. I'm Corian Dorgis. I'm a Jedi. Even here. Even on Korriban. Why do you care? Why are you here? I'm here to get you home. If you play your cards right. And I'm to trust you. The word of a Sith. I don't understand. You're here to help me. Why am I talking in circles? What's wrong with me?
How am I supposed to care? You're right. I apologize. There's no passion. There's serenity. There's no chaos. There's harmony. The Jedi Code will guide me. I can focus. If you want to help me escape, I'll need my belongings, my lightsaber, my comlink. Before I was captured, the Sith chased me into the tomb of Tulak Horde. I hid my belongings inside an urn to lighten my load. That is where you'll need to go. No torture, not good. We want torture. Stand one, three to go. He's always good here. Closer, Acolyte. 
The wind outside has torn my ears to tatters, and my eyes grow strained and bloody in the dark. I've studied this tomb for years, slept on its stones, and dreamed of its depths. Now, I need assistance to solve its final mystery. If you have secrets to share, I would learn them. Then listen to me, and to my story. Listen close. This tomb is the final resting place of Tulak Horde. The tomb's maze was built to his precise specifications. But he built his maze to hold more than just his body. He built it to secure his greatest creation, his terrible machine, the Red Engine. Why are you telling me this? Because I need you. The machine needs you. The machine was his life's work. A perfect puzzle that hid all his secrets. It was a vault and a library all at once. The scholars in the Academy, they say the Red Engine was never completed. They say it never functioned. But I know how it works. And I know how to fuel it. What do you mean, fuel it? Listen now. Anyone can activate the Red Engine. But unless it receives its sacrifice, it will only sputter and die. The machine needs blood and hatred to become fully operational. If a Sith could slay the tomb's beast in its presence, their deaths would be its fuel. Find the machine within the tomb. Work its mechanisms. And when at last it reveals Tulak Horde secrets, I beg of you, bring me its scripture. Bring me the knowledge I have dreamed of. Yeah, I'll get to kill everything.
see if someone will help me, shall we? I've got someone helping me. Just outside. Thank you. 
Anything the right side, I'm going to die.
I'll leave it there for today. And I'll see you again next time. Bye bye.